Greetings. Thanks for watching the first episode of a many part series of TK's Just a Tip. Today we're going to talk about a few things, not necessarily to improve your play, but maybe to improve your enjoyment of the game and also the enjoyment of the players around you in the same golf course. Today we're going to focus on bunker play. Not only hitting shots out of the bunker, but what to do after you're out of the bunker and your ball's on the green. I mean, bunkers are hard enough. We all want to avoid them if we can. But, you know, it's part of the game. So we're going to talk about what you do when you hit a shot in the bunker and what you do after you've hit your shot out of the bunker. Well, as you can see, I found myself in the bunker. And, you know, it's a fairly well-maintained bunker and I'm a fairly good lock. So what I'm going to do is hit my bunker shot on the green as best as I can. That was an excellent shot. So not focusing on the shot itself, what do I do now? I've made a mess in the bunker. I'm going to get the rake. I'm going to rake the bunker. Like this. As you can see, I'm not doing that. And I'm not doing that. I'm raking the bunker properly. And that's hopefully going to leave the next player behind me a reasonably good shot like I am. I'm going to rake the bunker nice to flat. Pulling the stand, not pushing it. Using the level of the lie of the next player behind me. Relatively make. And now what I'm going to do, take my golf club, pick off my golf shoes before I go and traipse sand prints across the green. Putting's hard enough. Let's not make it hard. So as you saw earlier, I hit my bunker shot on the green, clicked off my shoes, so I didn't make any footprints on the green. But now we're here up on the green, and the player before me, as you can see, sand footprints all the way across the green. If you think that's okay, it's not.